Hello everybody, uh, try that for a third time. Hello everybody, welcome to this week's update video. My name is Martin, I'm an Inkscape developer developing features and fixes for everyday Inkscape users. Uh, welcome to these videos where I talk about some of the work that I've managed to do this week. Uh, first thing is, uh, I, I went away for my birthday, that's why I didn't, I didn't do a video last week. Uh, but while I was away, this screen fell down and it's now broke. Uh, which is a bit annoying, so sorry about the um, black hole behind me. Um, so what I want to talk about this week is, I, I think we should talk more about the color stuff and where, and where we are with that. Um, I think I should, though, say thank you to all of my sponsors. Um, thank you to everybody who basically allows me to work on Inkscape. It's uh, it's basically only thanks to you guys that I have the time to spend on it. Um, so what's been happening is that I ca I've kind of gotten stuck. Uh, I, I made the decision a couple of weeks ago to do a, a refactoring of the way colors are handled within Inkscape um, for a bunch of reasons. This is because of, of um, the cleanliness, like the code is, is kind of all over the place. It's, it's a bit spaghetti. It ranges from everything from 2002, believe it or not, all the way through to, uh, you know, 2022, 2023 stuff. Uh, and so there's just a vast array of quality and uh, underpinnings and, and style of code and uh, assumptions about how the color stuff should be wor working. Um, none of the color stuff uh, prior to like 2015 even has the understanding of color modes or color separation or anything like that. So I thought, okay, so let's uh, work on refactoring all of this code uh, and keep on sort of working at it until it gets to the point where it's like, it's nice and clean. It's, it's obvious what it's doing. It's not slow. That's the other thing. Um, and that like it, for any other developer that comes along in at any time in the future, they'll look at this one single color system and go, oh, I understand how this works. You know, this is the profile, this is the color, this is the thing. And they'll be able to integrate that into whatever kind of functionality that they're using. Um, the problem is, is that it's taking me way longer to do than I thought it would. Um, I keep on spending, you know, days uh, writing code and then compiling and then rewriting code and then again and again or just like stirring into the middle distance trying to work out trying to think about what the hell I'm actually trying to do here um, so you'll notice that what, what I did this week is I, I, I did a I did a stream if, if any of you caught that it was about two and a half hours long, something ridiculous, where I, I, I changed tacks. Instead of trying to hammer this designer in code, I uh, decided to draw it out in Inkscape, which is it's kind of funny. It's, it's, it's using Inkscape for like visual design, uh, but of code. And so I worked through, um, you know, trying to compile all of the ideas that I've been thinking about and coding on and trying to test for and, and like all of the corner cases, all of the things that we need to support. Uh, and thank you to the people, I think it was like 80 people that joined me off, off and on for those two, two and a half hours. Um, I definitely made progress. Uh, but I'm also here to report that I haven't even finished. Uh, there's still more code to do. I, I need to write tests because this stuff has to be tested. Uh, with unit tests, not with human tests. Um, so I, I basically I'm saying, I, I'm sorry, I can't get back to the PDF stuff as fast as I wanted to. I need to continue to work on this color, um, color refactoring code. Um, having said that, I did fix a few bugs in 1.3.1. Uh, thank you to everybody who uh, took up my in invitation to download the the release candidate. Uh, sorry, the Mac OS version wasn't released at the same time. I didn't actually know that at the time, but it should be there now. Um, I, we, we had a handful of reports, not very many uh, of, of crashes. Those have been fixed. And I'm very happy to say that I think people have uh, basically proven to me that like it's not, uh, it's not worse, not materially worse than 1.3. And it definitely fixes a bunch of things that were reported. Like, you remember those 80-odd things. 
which is great. Uh, definitely what I wanted to hear. Um, so let's get into some of the uh, Inkscape stuff that I didn't do that is a part of um, the rest of the Inkscape project. Uh, there is a birthday celebration, which is which I thought was going to be a public event, but it turns out it's actually going to be a semi-private public event. I thought it was going to be streamed. It's, it turns out it's not going to be streamed. It's going to be uh, just the conference room. So you're invited to come and participate, but you will be in a video call, although it won't be recorded. So maybe that's okay. Um, that I will be hosting, I think, for two hours with Michelle. Um, we will see how that goes. I'm not 100% sure about what will happen and what we'll talk about, but hey, Inkscape is 20 years old and it is worth celebrating such a, a, a tenacious, um, you know, and, and generous, I would say, uh, hundreds of people who have worked on Inkscape uh, over the years and, and they absolutely should be uh, celebrated for all of their efforts and the ability for human beings to come together without n needing to be forced to in order to, to do something good. Um, there are also a couple of things uh, of code-wise that I think are worth highlighting. Um, Sedahant Agawal, uh, Agawal, sorry I'm mispronouncing that name, um, he, 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 this is a, a new contributor, added a set custom numeric data to spin buttons. He's basically uh, uh, undoing some of the uh, GTK3 stuff uh, that basically limited what we could do. Um, that looks really cool. I love to see UX stuff. It, it appears to be within the stars tool um, itself. Nice reviews, everybody. Um, Mike Mikov has been w w working on a bunch of fi fixes for 1.3 1 as well. Um, Daniel is and uh, is not working full time on GTK four anymore. He's got a new job and is uh, going to be working on the GTK four stuff as both an advisor and basically weekend work. So we'll see we'll see how that goes. Uh, Tab is still working on GTK four and was doing more file uh, open di dialogue work. Um, and Mark and Rene have been working on the releases, uh, mostly for 1.3, but also like the CI Builder and a bunch of other uh, tricky issues that have seemed to come up recently. Um, so it's great to see that sort of like the infrastructure of Inkscape is still plodding along, still going. Um, so that's about it for this week. Uh, thank you for joining me where I talked about the work that I wasn't able to do. <laughs> uh, I hope I have more to show you, uh, or at least progress um and uh yeah and and we'll see well ho hopefully inkscape's next 20 years will be a lot more um colorful and uh i'll see, see you all next week hello everybody <coughs> oh dear i've got a, <coughs> an entire lizard in my throat there do you think I should do vocal exercises before I do a video?